you can probably tell, I am Daniel, and my other host is Eric. Uh, I'm Eric. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and uh, I, blah, 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 my brain just died. We today are <laughs> going to be <laughs> talking about the Kenobi series. Um, specifically yeah. episode three. This episode will probably be a little shorter than last week's behemoth of an episode. Hey. Because we only have one episode to talk about. Um, Facts. And uh, we'll just kind of get into it before we jump about, start talking about individual scenes or anything like that. Uh, overall feelings about this episode? Would you say it was better than two? Or did it continue to downtrend in your eyes? It, uh, there was no up or down trend. It just, uh, flatlined. It's the same feeling as the other ones. As episode two or one? Because we both seem to, like... Two, 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 yeah, two, 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 we both two, seem two, to have two. very different feelings about two and one. Yeah, I didn't really like one. I liked one. I thought you liked one. I liked one. one. No, I liked <laughs> one. It's just, this show is, is giving me ups and downs roller coaster, dude. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I liked this third episode, but for for if you listen to last week's podcast, I wished, I wished, I wished upon a star that Obi-Wan and Vader would fight. Spoiler alert, they did. A- and My our man God. got dusted, dude. Our Not <laughs> only did he get dusted, he got but dusted. it... It, I know that I knew that it wasn't going to be at the level of the prequels. Yeah, I I knew I knew that. Sadly, well, at least not not their first initial. Not yet. Not yet. Because Obi yes. is hella yes. rusty. <laughs> like yes. the man but. looks like a Ford truck that sat in the rain for fucking ten years and had no lover touch on it, dude. Holy shit. Oh, you you are correct. <laughs> He's a man with no maintenance, but. I didn't know that it was going to be sequel level. Do not mm me. Do not Wait, mm me. Wait, the lightsaber fight, I will say, was... Do not mm me. That whole scene, we all we saw was Obi-Wan running away from yeah. a man in a desert. I will say, the only reason why I don't want to f- compare it to sequel level choreography yet is purely because I feel like the... the in the sequels, oh no, they were I'm not talking about the be, choreography. They, they were trying to be like, they were trying to fight hard, but then it looked like shit. And this, he was just, he was intending to run away. So I think oh, yeah. that's why and the not only that, but wasn't uh, strong. And I feel like it made up for Vader. It Vader is also he was also playing with his food. Oh, I understand. Awesome. I, I, uh, yeah, I understood the whole. I, un- I, uh, I understood it, but I, once again. We we come back to the dilemma of it it just in my brain it did not flow. It just I don't know what it is about this show, but I I just it's choppy to me, and I I I hate that it is choppy to me. I I kind of understand where you're coming from. I'm. I feel like it's partially because I don't know what it is. I feel like it's partially because, like, Obi feels kind of choppy. Obi feels a little, I don't know. He doesn't feel like he's really driving any of this. Like, he's the caretaker for Leia, but he also feels like he's kind of being pulled around by her. But then he's also, like, telling her what to do. I don't know. It's... It's a weird dynamic. I'm not sure how I feel about it fully yet. So, the thing the thing that I mean is like when he, when Obi is like running away from Darth Vader. He's like running away like in sand dunes. Yeah. So like it's just obscured by sand mounds. And I I I just the ending the ending of the fight is is what really got me is because Vader just choke grabs Obi, and and like runs him and fucking plane. runs him through fire, which was but so my, cool. I so cool. I loved it, especially because that's what Vader would too. do. He's like, you see how I can't I 
literally can't walk this earth as a 10 out of 10 like I was in the prequels. I'm now a hunkin' robot man. I'm going to give yeah. you some third degree burns too. <laughs> and just yeah. follows that bit. And he's like, I'm going to make you. He's like, I'll kill you, but I'm going to fuck with you a little yeah. bit first. It was awesome. But my, my thing about it is that, like, why didn't he just, like, do that? Because, like, when they first saw each other and he ignites his saber. And then Obi, like, looks at him. Runs. Kind of, like, looks around. <laughs> and then, like, huh, he just runs away over a hill. And then Vader just turns off his saber. Like, okay. There was no, like, like man could have th- threw his lightsaber. Like, there could have been some action besides just pansy man runs away. Yeah. But my this is this is my last shit talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is my only shit talk about this episode because I liked the rest of the episode. It's just the only part that I wanted to be amazing. Just kind of made me go, damn. It was the whole last scene when he put the fire there, right? Mm-hmm. And then I honestly I forgot how he moved him out of the fire he put the fire he put the fire out oh right 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 um, for some reason and then and then like okay capture him because he's like i tortured you enough i'm gonna finish the job later he's like i'll torture you more on my ship i guess yeah i don't know why he didn't just like you know pick him up out of the fire and drag him towards him but no he puts him on the opposite side of the fire then we get a lady who i forget name uh, shoots the thing that ignited the fire in the first place, sort of, and um, creates the fire again. Daniel. One of the stormtroopers said, there's no way around it. They could have walked around it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank My you. My bigger complaint, though, isn't the fact they could have walked around it. It's that a droid, a slow fucking droid came up and picked him up and slowly walked nope. away. And Vader couldn't use the force nope. and just stop that, them. No, no, That's not what bothered me. What bothered me is seconds before the big fire was ignited, we saw Vader dis- extinguish the same fire, just a little bit smaller. And just didn't do it again. Yeah, no, that's my only issue is I – them using a fire as like a plot device to escape is a little weak, but I don't. It's not like it's never. It makes no sense. It's not like it's never been done. It's the fact that they demonstrated he can extinguish it with the force, with literally seconds beforehand. And yes, like the I was a little sad because I love Obi Wan and I like lightsaber fights. I wanted it to be more of a competitive fight, but I also kind of like the fact that Vader wasn't like using force yeah. choke immediately he just dominated it, well, vader him. W- could sense his fear because that's oh 100 that's how he found him yeah he knew obi was weak he knew he was scared and he was toying with him because the person he he literally blames obi-wan for creating for everything him. he says you yeah. made me who i am like he blames obi for becoming darth vader pretty much and so he's going – he – I feel like part of this scene is – I was watching a YouTube video, a YouTube channel called um, Star Wars Theory. Oh, yeah. I've heard of it. And uh, he was talking about this third episode, specifically talking about the Darth Vader, pretty much every part from Darth Vader forward in, like, the last eight minutes of the f- episode. And pretty much everything Darth Vader did the whole time he was in this episode, once he got to the town – was to establish he is more powerful now than he was when he was a Jedi. That he is so far away from the Jedi now now that he's no longer held back from Obi Wan, which is something like he com- constantly complained about in the prequels. Yeah. yeah. That he has all this power in the palm of his hand lit- lit- literally. And yeah. like you could see it when he when he arrives to the planet that they found Obi on, and he starts walking he through starts the streets, snapping necks. Dude, my favorite part. You know how earlier I was complaining that the the <laughs> that the what you call it, uh, whatever fucking inquisitors were weak sauce compared to Sith, and I was disappointed. I'm I yeah. I am no longer disappointed. I don't give Good. a fuck if the inquisitors are weak sauce. That man 
is prime sip. Prime. Yes. Mm, mm, I loved it, especially because you could see the moment he sensed Obi, he looked over in his direction. He knew Obi was there. And what he does immediately then is starts ch- pulling a dude out of his house with force choke to draw either draw Obi out because he knows he's going to want to fight him and also to scare him and also to demonstrate the power he has. And the best part about it is he's choking one dude and another villager runs out of the same house to, st- to help him. <laughs> fucking Vader just ragdolls him to the fucking wall and then snaps his neck all on camera dude i love how like they're not holding back with vader at all in this yeah disney well i mean they can't oh they can't if they if they would uh, i think that everyone would just call this show shit well (laughs) i i expected them to do like some bullshit off-screen kills and stuff like that but i love that they're not doing that because like i will give this to disney disney has done a lot with the new Star Wars stuff I don't like. But every time Disney's shown Darth Vader on screen in all of their new Star Wars movies and TV shows, they've done him correct. Like in the well, end I of think, Rogue I One, think like, the end of Rogue One, that scene that they showed him. Oh, be- beauty. Awesome. And then this, like these are really the two main things that they've done with Darth Vader. But even in Rebels, when they showed him in Rebels, the man was a menace. Every time Disney's portrayed Darth Vader, they've done him correct. They've done him righteous. They did him duty. Yeah. And they're not holding back, which is what I love. I was afraid they might be a little weak sauce with him, and I'm glad they're not. So I'm I'm utmost positive that um, Darth Vader holds, like, the greatest villain of all time, like, in human history kind of thing, like, of movies. Does that make sense? I, I, I don't know if that's like a if you're saying like he has a reward like an award saying that or if you just think he is. And I think this. No, no, is, it's 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 a it's like a. I'm pretty sure it's like a statistical fact that he is, like, r- renowned as the greatest villain of all time. Uh, like story, like story written. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure if you Google who is the greatest villain of all time, literally, I'm pretty sure it's Darth Vader. I mean, I don't know what this website is, but the first website to show up of greatest villains of all time is Darth Vader, number one. With Jokey, yeah. I mean, Joker is number two. <laughs> Jokey. Jokey. Loki was number three, and I saw Joker at two, so... I, Loki, Jokey. Jokey. Um, oh, that would be a weird fucking mix of people. Uh, uh, that would be a world ender. Um, um, but, yeah, but no, Vader. The... I, I can agree with that. Like, he is so recognizable. Personally, I would say Sidious yeah. is a better villain, but Vader is a close up there for sure. He is... Everyone knows the face of Vader, even if you're not a Star that's Wars fan. Yeah, that's 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 what I, I think. That's what it's trying to say. Because yeah, I yeah. I don't. Yeah, Sidious is like the good villain, but he's like a behind the scenes. Like he's not the face of the franchise kind of thing. You know? No, he's definitely not. Vader is. He's he's the he's the. I, mean, I just signed you for the contract. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you be the the prophet master. I just want you for the brand, Anakin. For the brand. Yeah. <laughs> for the brand. Um, but yeah, they. So to get back on my little rant of stupid shit that this show has done, um, they also did the same thing. Uh, you know when Obi was, um, pretending to be the father. Yeah. The and Leia dude. was pretending to be the daughter, mm-hmm. and uh, they were on their transport ship to wherever. And Obi fucking and spills they, the beans. Yeah, and they run into the into the barrier, uh-huh. right? So you know how he pulls the lever down and it doesn't shut off, and then he has to shoot it. Yeah. Did you see where they were at? They could have walked around the barrier. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm. It's just like it's like Eric. Eric, why are you complaining about this? It's like. Because it's not subtle. No, it's <laughs> not. But I also don't think it's like a huge. I think that's no, very nitpicky for sure. It it is very nitpicky, but the fact that they showed like in in the shot of him pulling down the thing, and then having to shoot it, there's the hill behind him. Like my thing is is that with all the VFX. 
that they can have or with all the placement that you like with, with all the things that you could do why put this between two hills i can understand that that you can walk around i and like why are we in utah i didn't hate the fact he shot i don't it. i don't hate it I... it just makes me go like this face palm it's it, exactly exactly face palm a lot <laughs> i more so wanted him to use the force because like and i know this is now the new canon and like legacy stuff isn't canon but in the comics the big thing was obi was out of practice when it came to lightsaber combat that was for sure but the one thing he wasn't out of practice with was the force the force because that's it's because this man's been practicing it for 10 years trying to talk to qui-gon well, exactly and and he like his whole training on tatooine was force related so like exactly. i was hoping this they man would, should be to the t i was hoping they would demonstrate that here and like could see bro jedi use forces to pick locks and shit all the time like he yeah. could have just used the force to take down the barrier you, like using the force to control the lock and bring down the lever and all that yeah or but, he could have walked up a hill yeah i mean i wouldn't have paid i honestly <laughs> the, the that i think bothers me less than it bothers you but i can understand yeah. the complaint um yeah and i know that at this point i probably just sound like a nitpicky bitch well, kinda, and i yeah. understand that <laughs> i understand that i understand that i also am just a person that like if it doesn't make sense i notice it and it bugs the fuck out mm -hmm. of me like if it just doesn't make sense it, it just like i don't understand why it's likable kind of thing yeah. yeah and so with with movies and tv shows specifically if i see things that are like why like it it just allows me to then break like i've said a million times like it just breaks the illusion for me to be in this world and say like okay well like the fuck you're you are way smarter than me because you're a jedi and like if it didn't unlock which first of all it should like i don't understand why it didn't but like hell <laughs> i i can understand that it's just not, it's not yeah. it's not like great writing i also don't think that's personally for no. me enough to like make the episode it's bad not at all no it's not it just it just it just goes compounds. it it just it's just full circle to the stormtrooper saying we can't go around yeah. it yeah like oh we can't get him it's like you can you just have to walk around the fire just like obi-wan could have walked around the barrier you know mm -hmm. it's just like those scenes that that like you said like compound into my brain going the fuck are we watching <laughs> i can get that i can get that i still i still like it i'm just a nitpicky bitch and i apologize if you don't like it but i mean at least you sucks hey, suck. <laughs> hey, at least you recognize it you know you're allowed yeah, to, you're allowed to nitpick all you want just realize the nitpicks you're having might be a little oh no i know they're nitpicky um, but but i mean i think it's i don't they're valid yeah, i don't think you're bringing up anything that's not valid i feel like this episode for me so now now that we can not not necessarily have a whole podcast of hating on episodes um oh yeah i i feel like this episode for me was i liked it better than two i feel like for the most part leia at a couple times i just don't think i like the child actor that much to be honest i still like the fact that leia is involved i don't love how she's kind of like leading the way per se yeah same i'm not same, a same. fan of that but also leia as a character is very strong-willed she is very she is a leader i do like that a lot of the qualities we see from the original movies are showing up as her as an adolescent i mean you saw the same yeah. thing in anakin when he was a kid oh yeah so i and, don't i and don't hate that i i really i don't hate it it's just a little weird because I'm yeah. looking at a character in Obi Wan I know so well, and I'm expecting him to be the suave, smooth criminal he is. You're in you're looking at the man called the Negotiator. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking <laughs> and at, he doesn't know how to s persuade. Even in, I mean, to be fair though, when he slipped up, he fixed it well. He fixed it well. Oh, 100 percent. Oh yeah, it was beautiful. And, it was beautiful. And like, but and not only that, but it was it was poetic. It was especially because it wasn't. It was like it had parallels to Padme. 
which I I yeah. do love that. It's I think it's hard for me to get over the fact that Obi Wan isn't old Ben yet, and he's not fucking overzealous but patient young Kenobi. You know what I mean? Like he's growing. Yeah. He's right now at the lowest point in his life, and he's trying to get because old Ben still has some of that swagger. Old Ben is like Yoda with a little more swagger, dude. He's not as crazy as Yoda is, but he doesn't give a fuck like Yoda does. not yeah. But he still has some of that like swagger, like that little like smirk and like I'm just going to force trick these <laughs> these dumbass yeah. stormtroopers right in front of us or let me taunt Darth Vader, the scariest man in the world. Like old Ben yeah. still has that swagger to him, but he's a lot like wiser now. And young Kenobi had all the swagger. And I feel like this is just a version of Kenobi that has none of either traits. <laughs> yeah, we're just watching a man slowly die at this point. And I'm <laughs> suspecting that we'll see him grow more into the man he is uh, throughout yes. the show, which I'm excited for. I will say... Um, and we're halfway done. Yeah. Just saying. Hate, just I saying. I hate that we're halfway done. I hope there's in. We're two weeks. We're two weeks into this show, and we're halfway I, done because they released the first. I two don't get together, why they do Which that. I think is kind of yeah, stupid. Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's so it's short. Stupid. Why do that? Um, exactly. Unless they're gonna surprise us. Um, no, they I won't. Know they won't. It's just I know, but I can hope, right? Um, I'm oh. hoping that they. Can, <laughs> I hope this isn't like a one shot. I hope they have like two seasons, so then we continue to see like him grow into old Ben. Um, I will say I don't think this is the only fight we're gonna get with him and Darth Vader. No, I wouldn't. If if it is, I if this is the only fight that I get to see Vader in, I will not like well, this show. Maybe not Vader specific. I think Vader is gonna be in multiple fights. Um. Oh yeah. No, I think and this and, won't be the yeah. last one between Kenobi and him specifically. Um. You know. I, yeah. I agree with that. I don't think that this will be the last because, one because, and and I was so after. <laughs> Something I really got upset about in last, last week's episode was I kept talking about how it retconned one of the coolest lines in Star Wars. We meet again, mm. uh, uh, Kenobi. Uh, last time we met, I was just a learner, but now I am the master. Like, that, yeah. that line is so badass. And it kind of retconned. I was afraid that they were going to retcon it because that's why I said Darth Vader and Kenobi won't fight because we see Darth Vader in his prime. Well... I will say, Darth Vader is obviously a lot more powerful now, um, but I don't think he's Prime Vader yet, because something that the director and Hayden Christensen have said in like commentary, and something I feel like you could feel in the this episode with Vader, is he is still dealing with letting go of Anakin, because he's only ten years into being a Sith. You know what I mean? Like he's now had like as a little, he's still less time being a Sith than he was a Jedi pretty much yeah and so he's still a really young sith in that way he's coming up to almost equal time but he still had more time being a i was gonna guy. say i think that's i think it's pretty equal at this point I, I think he was he got recruited when he was like 10 or 8 and he was at least 18 if not like 20 in revenge of the sith i want to say so he's close to the same time if not a little bit more time as a jedi i feel like um but pretty equal i i will agree with that correction um but I do enjoy the fact that in this, you could tell, like, he was, I feel like in the originals, Darth Vader was rash, but he was also, like, calculated. In this, he just feels mm. more angry than anything. And he feels very, like, you could tell, because it's hard to show expression on Vader's face when he's in the helmet. But you, I feel like by the actions, you could tell, like, the man was just full of rage towards Kenobi, and he wanted him to feel it. He wanted him – he wanted to play with – he was more focused on getting back at him than he was about killing him, you know? Yeah. And I feel like that is uh, a different attitude than older Vader in the originals had. It felt more like him trying to fight that conflict inside of him and show, like, hey, look at my power. Look at what I am. Uh in this scene and i hope they continue to go into that because i really enjoy that aspect of vader and that's what's leading me to my next statement which is something star wars theory talked about and i kind of think this is how they're going to do it 
is I think we're going to get another fight with Darth Vader and Obi. And when we get that fight, I suspect that Obi's going to dust him. Oh, I agree. Because the- Be- he he has to if they're going to keep that line yeah. like I'm the like a uh, you the Jedi master learner whatever. Yeah, I was once the, the learner. The infamous but now line I is. I am the master. Yeah, I think he's I he has to be. I think he's I think he will. I hope he does. It, exactly. <laughs> Even though I personally wouldn't consider Darth Vader at this point a learner, but to be fair, I mean he he still has things to he learn. He still does. He's a young Sith. I mean, he he, he let Obi Wan go yeah. at the end of this episode. It, it, so. Exactly. And to be fair, by the time with the experience he has, he wasn't even cr- with the same amount of experience in the Jedi Order. He wasn't even crowned a master yet. So you could make the argument with the same experience in a Sith, which is a new training. And yeah, some of the stuff he has, like the control over the Force, is still like new to like is still there like he can carry that experience over but the way he uses it and the way he goes into it is completely different like he really has to unlearn a lot of habits and learn them in a new way especially because he's still having to adjust to his new body i mean yeah he's had 10 years in the new body but like relearning a whole new fighting style doesn't it takes a long time you know and yeah and so i could imagine like he's he's getting a good grasp like he has a really good grasp already of now being 10 years into it but i don't think he's really fully mastered it yet and i'm hoping they demonstrate that when he gets dusted by obi at the end of the show and yeah. or next time they fight and then that will like you said hold true to that line because i will be very very angry if they retcon the Grand Inquisitor and that line. At that point, honestly, yeah, I I'm I, going to be more angry at Disney about yeah. that specifically yeah. than half of the prequel, uh, half of the sequels, because it's yeah. like you are now tarnishing the originals more so than yeah. you already have. You know? Did you did you notice how the third sister blamed Obi Wan for killing the Grand Inquisitor? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was like her first. It was like her first line. I essentially. I did. Like they kind, they really tried to sneak it in there. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, she even though a Sith would see that and be like, "Why are you lying?" Like, <laughs> the Sith would be like, "Oh, you killed your master. Cool, your master was like the the ideology of the Sith is learn what you can, then backstab and murder." Which is why when they w- had an order of a Sith of like twenty pe- like uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands Sith, they end up murdering all of e- each other and <laughs> killing each other. That's why the rule of two exists, because then that's also just because it makes both of them powerful. As well. e- exactly, <laughs> but I mean the rule two, it's hard to murder. Y- you can't get rid of the Sith with two of them. You know what I mean? Like because if the apprentice kills yeah. the master. Then he is now the master, and he can find his own new apprentice. If the apprentice fails to kill the master, and the master kills the apprentice, the master just finds a new apprentice, and the Sith live on. Before, when there's like hundreds of them, they all just kept, ended up murdering each other. And then it was like, well, we have the infrastructure for thousands, but there's only one of you left. We don't know how to handle yeah. this. And so they had to restructure, which is genius. And like the Inquisitors are the concept of Vader's trying to find his new right hand to become his apprentice when he wants to murder Sidious. Pretty much what the Inquisitors are. And yeah. so I feel like if, if she told Vader, hey, you, I killed him, he was weak, he'd be like, cool, don't care. Or like, good job, I guess. Like, here's a, here's a fist bump. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think he would care too much. I don't think he would have punished her, for sure. I don't, he obviously I wouldn't have punished her, considering when she said, Gwen, the Grand Inquisitor got killed. He's like, don't that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, he, br- yeah. he brushed it off. So he obviously went to like punished her for murdering him. But I do think it's interesting that she didn't take credit for it. So I think that shows that she's like wanting favor with him, but still has a like a fear. Doesn't understand exactly where he stands, and so has a fear of him. And is trying to like find that line, maybe. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, because, I mean, failing Vader is Vader. worse than failing anyone else, so... I mean, yeah, you, you die. Yeah, he murks the shit out of you, so... 
you I die. can understand why she would play that fine line. I did find that interesting, though. Um, yeah. The lady who shot the thi- the generator when – so Vader walks through the, the town and starts murdering people. Kenobi runs away. He follows Kenobi. He They have their little skirmish. He tosses him and then force chokes him and then ignites a flame and then – just drags Kenobi through the flame, extinguishes it. They're about to take him into custody. This sniper chick who was the contact that the other smuggler guy he ran into. On the fake Jedi. The fake Jedi, yeah. Set him up to meet. She apparently is part of a whole group that saves Jedis. And like Yeah, she's essentially part of the quote unquote rebellion. Exactly. And their, their goal specifically is to help Jedi and other people ex- find new identities and stuff and become safe to a degree. And she's help, she was supposed to help Leia escape. She leaves Leia because tr- a 10-year-old told her, go help him. Um, yeah, because that makes sense. I mean, leave a leave a ten year old in some tunnels. Exactly, because she she'll know where to go. I didn't uh-huh. I didn't like it whatsoever, but I mean, at the same time, she did kind of have to show up. <laughs> he was getting dusted. Um, no, that would have been great if the man would have gotten put into custody. Then he has to escape. Dun dun I dun. Do oh my gosh! Instead of <laughs> getting a, a fire extinguisher, Vader. <laughs> But pretty much, uh, she ends up shooting them and pretty much covers the robot while the robot saves Kenobi. Oh, the robot. Um, but I honestly really like that character, purely because I like the actress. I don't know if she's going to be more involved. Yeah, she's from Game of Thrones. I was about to say, she's Game of Thrones. She's one of the Vipers. I, I I like her as an actress, so I'm excited. I wouldn't, I would enjoy if she's more involved. I don't know if she will be. But I suspect she will be because they're now. I could imagine. Because now they're gonna have to go save Leia again, and. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, when you and I, when you and I were like, yeah, we could see how she gets home at the end, like the beginning of this third episode, (laughs) and then it's just kind of like, kind of different plot. No, she's here for the long haul. Yeah, this she's gonna be here through the whole season. This whole this whole show, this whole show is about her. Yeah, it's about Obi Wan saving her, which I mean, I guess isn't a terrible thing. I don't hate it. I think it's an interesting uh, plot point. I didn't expect them to go that way, but it's an interesting story. Uh, yeah, it, it yes, it is definitely interesting. Um, but I would say overall, if I gave last episode a six, I'd say this is a seven. Maybe nah, I might say a seven point five, low eight. Maybe mm, I would say between seven and seven point five eight because I really I'll give mm, yeah mm, seven point five. Because I really do love the Vader, all the Vader scenes, really, except like that very, very end nitpicky thing. I enjoyed yeah. Vader the whole time. I enjoyed the Inquisitors back and forth. I like how the the fifth brother is like all about. This is my spot. He's all about like fucking over Riva and getting Darth Vader to love him. So I love their like kind of internal squabble, which also shows the Sith have no allegiances to anyone except themselves. And they're not Sith, they're dark side users, but they still have, like, a similar, you know, concept. And so yeah. as dark side users, they just don't have any loyalty except to themselves. So I love that interaction. Um, honestly, the more I'm talking about it, I, th- I would say, I don't know why I can't give it an 8. I want to give it an 8. I just don't feel like I can. I liked it better than Episode 2 a lot. And there's a lot of good stuff to it. There's just a few scenes in it where I'm like, Why is the ten year old the leader of this group? <laughs> Honestly. Like that is probably I don't understand. That's probably Leia, what annoys Leia, me the most. You you are my daughter. You do not talk, you cannot speak. Wait, so you don't want me to talk or I can't talk? You do not talk. Oh look, there's a truck! Hey mister! Hey! We need a ride! Shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, d- I just told you to shut up. And you're running around here trying to get us a hitchhike ride. I just, Woman. <laughs> I just feel like Obi-Wan just has no control over this child. No, he, he doesn't and, because she's Leia. And that's how they have to write her. They have to write her, like you're saying, like a leader, a 
person with confidence, you know, the the 90-year-old, 10-year-old. Well, and like <laughs> Well, and she's like Anakin in the way where Anakin was told to in episode 1 to do something and then she no, just says fuck well, off, no, I'm going to do whatever Anakin I want. Anakin in episode 1 was like, "Hey, hide in the hangar. Don't do anything." Anakin was like goes and blows up a Death yeah, Star. <laughs> no, Anakin was like, "Time to hop in this starship and go shoot down the the separatist uh, blockade." Yeah. So like I do think we're seeing a lot of Anakin in her, and I don't... Yeah, but I, we're also seeing a lot of Padme as well, yeah. with, like, the whole negotiator and yeah. stuff like that, which I love. I don't hate it. But I, she's a child. I <laughs> wouldn't hate her being so free-spirited and so, like, headstrong and so independent. If they did it right? If they didn't also add, like, the super... Stupid children things that she says? No, not that. I don't mind that. I just don't like the fact that she has, like... The insight better. Oh. The insight better than most like adults I know in my life. Yeah, like, dude, but she's she, but like, she has the force. She dude. has the in. Oh, that will be my dude, argument this entire I'm show, not gonna dude. Lie, you, I hate it keep, every time you. I know. It. it makes me so angry. I know. That's not how the force I know. works. That's I know, not the but force. that's that's how the force works now. It's not. People I don't. Can re- I don't think that's what they're. But, I don't but, think that's what they're trying to do, dude. I really don't think that's but, what they're trying to do. But Kylo Ren can read minds. Okay, but th- that's and a s- the third th- and the third sister can read that's minds. That's established, though. That's 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 the thing that why I just want to. I might sound like a bitchy nerd, but I don't give a fuck. I need to just address that statement about Kylo Ren and Reva having the, that ability. That isn't a new ability. That's something the Jedi have always been able to do, and we see it in the Clone Wars TV show. Yoda, Mace Windu, and Obi Wan all do tr- attempt to do that to Cad Bane, like they they try to jump into his mind and pull his thoughts. It's that being able to intrude someone's mind and pull thoughts out and like re- pull things out specifically and search their mind is something that Force users can do. It's a specific ability. Not all of them are trained to do it, just like how certain Force abilities and certain people can't do. What? she's doing she's not act, every time it's happened though they've have to actively attempt to probe their mind with strong knowledge and training through the force what she's doing isn't actively probing someone's mind what she's doing is just being wise as fuck for no reason he that's that yeah that's dude, but what, it's the force that's not mm. <laughs> Okay, guys, I might, I might have to kill my co-host. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I love, I, oh, I hate that dude. <laughs> oh, I do too. I'm makes, just saying it because that's tro- what it I know looks you're like. Trolling. I know you are, but it makes me so angry. <laughs> Every time she looks at someone and her eyebrows move a little bit, and then she says something wise as fuck. How is that not the force? That's just, but it's not. They're not giving any indication that she's using the force or the reason she's and wise. They never, is that they, they never that, that, indicated that she had the force until the very last movie, and then she force pulled herself all the way yeah, through well, space. So they indicated that she was force sensitive in episode five. Yoda did. Yeah, um, she read his. Well, they also did it in in when in Bespin, when she sensed Luke. Yeah. Saying in Leia, episode five. Leia. Yeah, in episode five. Yeah, um, I don't know what episode the episodes are. Ep- Empire Strikes Back, when Yoda, Yoda and Luke meet, and when Leia goes to save Luke in Bespin. Yes, yes they yes, indicate yes. that she has a connection to the Force. There, I have no issue with her being Force sensitive. My issue is that that's she not. Can read minds. That's not her using the force or you like her being adept at things or maybe being per like maybe just being a little bit more in tuned with people's emotions like being an empath maybe i can see that being like young force sensitive stuff her just knowing what to say at the right times isn't a force ability that's ever been established from anyone anywhere i would much rather what they have done and what they have signal they've just they've they've pretty much have chalked up her wisdom to Padme. That's pretty much what they've done every time any adult addresses it. They're like, you're like your mother. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't love how... I wish they would kind of slow roll it a little and let the 10-year-old be a 10-year-old. 
And I did love the fact she starts breaking down crying. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I love that she broke down crying and be like, I was just, I wanted to climb. I didn't I mean to do this. Like, at least she's coming to terms with the fact that she caused all this hobbaloo by trying to run yeah. away. And I enjoyed that because that's a child. Like, that is a child realizing she forked the fuck up. And she's acting yeah. like a legitimate child and not fucking a senator. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> we will have that heated discussion every time Daniel brings up the thought that she can't read the oh, Dude, um, that is... If you're gonna keep, uh, dude, if you, if I will, I, because I think that no, listen, you legitimately, the only are you reason, the, think that's what she's doing. The only reason why I'm saying that is because that's what the show is displaying. That's not what the show. I don't. I disagree. Maybe I'm just like trying so hard. You're also I'm like trying so a hard Star Wars not, nerd not to let it be that. Yes, and I'm just taking for what it is, and like, she looks like she's using something force ish. Like, how how does she have all this wisdom to, like, read people's emotions and, like, she's 10? Like, she should not be able to have, like, what you're saying, like, em empathic, you know, abilities to understand how someone is feeling or that they're lying to her. You've been keeping secrets from me, haven't you, Obi-Wan? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, like, shut up. I, like, I can, <laughs> You're Ted. I feel like – so part of the she, – she's well-spoken and probably has a good idea of, like, understanding in people to a degree because her, her father is a senator. Her mother was a senator. Like, it's, it's kind of bred into her, and tr she's been raised that way of royalty. So I can understand that aspect of it. And, yeah, is she probably a little empath empathetic and can, like – Feel someone's emotions through the force yes that is fine i feel like they've demonstrated that like i agree she can probably feel someone's emotions through the force which isn't like uncommon for jedi jedi can sense people's emotions they can sense yeah. those things that i don't that i don't have an issue with them demonstrating it's the there's a difference between feeling someone is scared or feeling someone is angry or feeling someone is like and lying, knowing that they're lying and, and knowing <laughs> someone's lying or a feeling that someone's hiding something specifically hiding someone something and then being like your face is on a hologram <gasps> they kidnapped me to get to you they don't want me they want you that's different than like a raw ability oh of feeling. yeah well that's just that's different than bad writing that's different than a raw ability to feel someone's emotions or like save him you know you have to or like taking i just i don't uh i just don't like the way they've written her to a degree like there's i don't know i, I don't know dude maybe, i will agree maybe I'm picking it's just annoying i will agree with all of those statements but i think <clears throat> all of those situations aren't aren't necessarily what i'm referencing to like i'm specifically like whenever she says something like wise I'm just chalking that up to her being a wise ass. Cool. She's she's smart for a 10-year-old. I'm only talking about when she's, like, looking at people. And you can, like, see her reading people's faces. That's what I'm only talking about. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to... Okay, I need to go back and watch the first three episodes. I'll, uh, because I'll, 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 I'll go back and come next week on episode four. I will have an official opinion on that then, I guess. When when what's his, when what's his face what's his nuts? is talking, yes. When what's his nuts is talking to them in the alley before he gives them the coordinates to go where they went mm -hmm. in episode three. Yeah. He she's looking at him and she's not saying anything, but they have her in focus to show that she has reactions to him talking to Obi Wan, but she has no response to this, and her eyebrows are like, you know, doing an old like. Uh, I think he's telling the truth to us, Obi Wan, kind of thing. Which, and then, like, it just makes me go like, oh, you know, cool. And then like a couple, like I think in episode three, like, you can't trust everyone, Leia. It's like, but she knows who to trust because she has one. 
I'm also just saying it because I think it's stupid. Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not trying to. Like, I know you. I know you're anything. trolling. That yeah. I know you're. I, know I you're am trolling. trolling. I know you're. And it's just because it's just because it's stupid. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's just I. I don't let things. Some things don't. I have. I feel like I can let a lot of things roll off me pretty well. But when I'm very yeah. passionate about something, like I really, really, yeah. really love it. I don't. Oh, I, I get you, I, dude. I, I I just can't like not respond, yep. and like yep. just like whenever anyone slanders Tobey Maguire's name, it says he's not the best Spider-Man. I go in full attack mode, and I only <laughs> see red, and it's like the same thing with Star Wars. So every time you do it, my my brain is like, don't, 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 don't. Yeah. You're going to. You know you're going to. Don't, don't. Ha! <laughs> dude, it's. It's just one of those things. It's like, ha. Uh, that's why I just I don't like her character. Like I like her character, but like, just the way that they have made her like co-main character with Obi Wan is like you're really pushing her story on us. This is supposed to be a Kenobi show. Like, and I still it's called Kenobi for a reason. I still feel like he is the main character. Not as yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, maybe not as barely not as much as I agree as I was hoping. I was hoping he would be the main character more, but I still feel like overall he has more plot threads than, like than she does. Oh, she's hundred. She, she's obviously the second main character. Like she is like yeah. the second most important person in the show, obviously. But like I, I do feel like all the major plot points are they're around her they're, kind of. I feel like. She is used to put Kenobi in, like, she's a plot device. Horrible situations. (laughs) All of the things that, like, every situation they get into is because of her, but every important thing that happens in those situations are for him. because of her. It's for him. Oh, oh. So, like, her being kidnapped was to get him out. Her and him running away and him finally gaining her trust led and led to Reva finding them and then Reva telling him Darth Vader was alive. And then uh, this whole episode was pretty much just Kenobi and Darth Vader and all of Kenobi stuff and Kenobi trying to like when he was asking the Imperial person, why do you still why do you still care? Like why are you trying? Like this is obviously all Kenobi slowly learning to have hope again and slowly learning to trust again. Yeah. And then she she gets kidnapped by Reva. So like, I have a feeling kidnapped. Kidnap. Uh, I have a feeling that she is the plot device they will use to put Kenobi in shitty situations to push his story. Because to be honest, yeah. she really hasn't had any development outside of now she trusts Kenobi, um, and she's regretted running away. She really hasn't yes. had much else. At this point, she's useless space. She, she is a plot device. She's been used as a plot device in the two episodes she's been in. The two episodes that she's been mainly <gasps> dude, used in. Dude, oh and god. So Just imagine. She's a... Leia. <laughs> What's her main goal in all of Star Wars history? Well, she's a plot device. <laughs> Think of that. I, uh, no. All of Star Wars now. No. Leia has just been a plot device. No, not in the originals. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, okay, okay what's, wait. What's your? We'll wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> let's wrap this up real quick. Short and sweet. Final rating. Mine's a seven point five. Better than the second uh, one. Worse than the first one. So my first one was uh order 66 no your because, first one was uh, nine. Second one was order 66 remember because you gave episode one a nine <sighs> i'm gonna go back on that i'm gonna give first episode a, uh, an eight now okay okay because my my ratings are going to they're going to change until the show's over because uh, yes i'm going to give the first one an eight now mm-hmm. because they're 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 averaging out in my in my brain. Next one is gonna be is six point six because order sixty six. Yep 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 yep. Order sixty six, mm-hmm. and then this next one I'm just gonna do a whole whole one point up. I'm gonna give it a seven point six because it had more Kenobi. I had sick Darth Vader shit, 
I got to see some necks breaking, some people getting dragged. Dude, I'm about it. Okay, so I I, I like Prime Vader. Not Prime Vader, but you yeah, get what I'm no, saying. We're, Vader content. We're, we're seeing Vader, ideal. Vader, which is awesome. Vader is sick. More them conversing and talking and, and like Obi Wan going through his stuff. I wanna see more. More, 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 more. Less less uh side stuff. I don't wanna see it. You know? Yeah. No, I get it. But I, I'll get I'll get I'll get I'll get what I'll get. I'll I'll like what I'll well, like. I'm hoping if she, pick what I'll nitpick. if she gets kidnapped by Reva, I'm hoping we just get more solo Kenobi stuff. <laughs> Dude, she if she gets kidnapped she by Reva, I'm gonna be so happy. She won't be. Well, she, <laughs> got, she, I mean, no. Okay, she we'll hasn't. Then, escaped. We'll then she, see. She hasn't been kidnapped yet. But let's be honest. If she escapes, this woman is the craziest child in the world. <laughs> like, well, not only like, that, but we'll. We'll we'll see the conundrum of lady with force power running parkour cool stuff, and Can't catch a twelve year old a, a human a human who waddles. <laughs> so if she can't catch her, that's that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That's a real. I, that's a that's a problem. I don't see any way she doesn't get Leia. Let me put it that way. I cannot see the way they like, unless an yeah. outside force interacts with it. I can't see a way it does not happen, but yeah, we, we both have pretty much the same grade. I gave this a seven point five, you gave yeah. that seven point six. So like, I think I think we feel generally the same. I I think yeah. I agree. I think I'm gonna change because when I was trying to grade this, I was like, ah, like I kind of like six. I feel good about my six for episode two. Maybe a five point five to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna do a five point five for episode two because I agree. Like it's gonna be a little fluid. You know, until we see how the whole show yeah. wraps up. But I feel like yeah. episode one is a solid 8.5, um, 9. I'm willing to keep it in that 9 area, depending on how. Yeah. yeah like yeah. 9, 8.5, because I still really liked it. And I feel like there's a lot of good there. Um, episode two is a 5.5. This episode, I'd say, is a 7.5. Yeah. I could see that. My. <laughs> My six point six is just mostly like a diss. Oh, yeah. I will agree with you. Like I, 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 my heart says five. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah. The six. But I don't the, count the, the six point six 60, as a legitimate yeah. six. It's, no, it's it's it's, it's a failure yeah. failure of mission. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Um, I will say, yeah, five point five. I'm comfortable with it. You got a fifty five percent. You almost passed, but you just did just not enough. Not enough. The first, Honestly, the, the first episode though gets a solid A or B plus. I will. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. Now that I've now I've flipped, thought about it, and the more I talk about this, the so, more I'm gonna flip flop. But nine. So it's an uh, it's an A minus. It's an A minus. Yeah, A minus, F, F, and then uh, C plus. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, this the show's sitting at a C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's sad. We got three more episodes. Yeah, Daniel, only three more. I know, dude. Uh, uh. Well, thank you for watching the Node Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your hosts, Daniel, and my other host. Yeah, I guess that's good. <laughs> I'm me, I'm Mario. Thank you for it's me, Mario. <laughs> thank you for listening. We really appreciate it. We know we're we're angry nerds nitpicking shit. And we appreciate all the listens. It's our right. It's and our right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, give us a like, subscribe, uh, share and follow, please. Um, on YouTube, which is uh at the Node Podcast, Spotify at the Node Podcast, uh, Twitter is at a Node Podcast, Instagram at the Node Podcast. Uh, we haven't been doing a ton on the Instagram yet. We plan on uploading some clips there. We have some ideas coming through the pipeline, so that will be something to keep an eye on, and we'll let you know more in the future. And Twitter will be a little bit more active here soon as well. So we appreciate you. Please share. Please like. And have a fantastic day. Yeah. Leave a comment about ideas for things that we should do and talk about. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Adios.